Hello, this is a how-to video on using the Regional Emergency Setup Operation website. You can access the website by either typing in the URL as above, sgrcmaps.com slash recop, or by going to our homepage, sgrc.us, and then clicking on Programs, going down to GIS, scroll down to Regional Interactive Web Apps, and then find the Recop and click on the image. From here, let me first talk about the button in the upper right hand corner. It'll have a link to this video right here. The emergency contact and the feedback both take you to the same page saying you can email us at any time at the GIS department and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with your questions or other information that you require. And then you can click on this button again and click on home and it will take you back to the website. From here, um, let me scroll down and talk about these links at the bottom, these important links. This is a Georgia Power Outage Map. Shows you all the outages in the state. The Georgia Flood Map Program. The Georgia Forestry Commission. Tallahassee Weather Forecast Office the Tallahassee Tropical Weather page, and the Hurricane Evacuation Map by the Georgia Department of Transportation. The shelter map here is just that. It shows shelters. This is Mathis Auditorium in Valdosta, which is always a shelter. And these icons here are state parks, which are shelters in times of need. This is your layer list. And here are the layers you can turn on and turn off. There's the state boundary, the state parks, the U.S. Parks of the United States, hurricane evacuation routes, the local shelter. If there were any open shelters right now, we have services that would be displaying. The region map and each of these county maps go actually to the same, same website. The region map leads to the Southern Georgia Regional Commission region. There's our region. It's 18 counties in that border. Each of these will take you to that individual county. So you see, this takes you to Irwin County, but it still has the boundary for our region. In the upper left hand corner are navigation tools and the search box. So you can zoom in at any time by pressing the plus button or by scrolling up with your mouse wheel. Likewise, you can scroll out with your mouse wheel by scrolling down or using the minus. This um, default extent takes you to the to our region. And this button here is good for when you're out in the field. It will zoom to where you're standing when you're on your mobile device. So let me go over here and explain these buttons over here. 
These are things you can add to the map right here. This allows you to draw something on the map. This allows you to place a bookmark. This is a layer list. Shows all the layers inside the map that you can turn on and turn off. So like the regional boundary, we can turn it off. Turn it back on. This right here is a legend that shows what all the different symbols mean. Like there's a, the symbol for shelter right there. And you can see the shelter in Valdosta. Base map. You can change what the background looks like at any time by clicking on something different over here, like open street map. These are all pretty different, so you can just try them, see what you like. And then there's the print button. So let me go back to the add edit. Not only is this website good for hurricanes, tornadoes, but also other kind of emergencies. We've had it used for um, finding hot air balloons before. Fires. Search areas. So we can put just markers anywhere on here. And then you can type in information. But I'm going to click clear because I didn't want anything to, to stay right now. Tree down on the house over here. But I'll click clear. So if you want to draw something, you just click here. And then you start drawing. Pick the symbol you want to use. And now when you hover over the map, watch the instructions. It says click to start drawing. So click and click. Click and double click to complete. You can do a circle. Click to add shape. Show area measurement, you can turn that on. Now, once you draw these, these will not stay on the map forever. So these are good for drawing something on and then printing the map that you want. If you add a symbol, though, those will stay on the map. And they can be saved. Let me show you um, during Hurricane Michael. Ben Hill County was pretty active and put all these symbols on the map. So we can save these symbols for historical purposes. Let me show you bookmarks. So these are all the bookmarks that we have. They're for each county. So at a click of a button, you can zoom to any county. But let's say I wanted a bookmark on the city equipment. I could just zoom to the city and say add. Type in equipment. Now I can close this, zoom out somewhere else, go back to my bookmarks, scroll down to equipment, 
and there we go. Now let me show you the search. I can search for just a city. And it will zoom right to it. I could add that as a bookmark. So now I have two bookmarks. Or you can type in an exact address. SGRC Valdosta. So these bookmarks will stay with you. If you close this website and you reopen it, you'll see these bookmarks again. That's different from the, the draw tool. You won't see things you drew once you close the website out, but you will see these bookmarks again. So this is the layer list. This local shelter is an event point, so we turn them off. All the events are turned off. Turn it back on. This button here is a legend that shows you all the possible symbols on the map, like I showed you before. And once again, there's that shelter. There's a base map, base map gallery. But I do want to show you something pretty neat on here. In the layer list, recent weather radar imagery. And there's some, some rain on the radar. That's pretty cool to see. So on here, anyone can enter points. So if people in Lanier County, for example, enter points. People in the city of Homerville or DuPont or all of Clinch County can see them. There's my traffic signal out. Now I'm going to go back to the main website. I'll go back in as Clinch County. And there it is right there. So anybody can see anybody else's items they put on the website. That's great for sharing information. Makes it really quick, simple, and easy to use. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed listening.